Hi. You often hear in exercise classes, fitness classes, even yoga classes, that it's a good idea to affirm your abdomen by drawing the abdomen inwards, or sometimes it's said that you should draw the navel toward the spine. And some people create controversy and say this is not a good thing to do. Other people say it is a good thing to do. In BKS Iyengar's book, even he says that's what you should do. So what actually is correct? What actually does it mean to draw the navel toward the spine and to draw the abdomen inwards? Well, there's a little bit of confusion because there's actually several ways you can do it. And they're not wrong or right, but they have different effects. For example, if I want to exhale fully and I've got a relaxed abdomen, this is my baby belly, a relaxed belly. If I want to exhale fully, I can draw my navel to my spine using my muscles of forced abdominal exhalation and the abdomen will draw in, my waist will narrow. But if I keep these muscles engaged, it'll almost be impossible for me to breathe into my abdomen. And that can make you feel quite stressed if you're always holding your abdomen in like this. On the other hand, I can make my abdomen draw closer to my spine using postural muscles. And when a postural muscle is activated, it actually moves the spine usually, or it'll try to move the spine. For example, if I bend forward, it will cause firmness in the front of the abdomen, but still softness in the sides. If I bend sideways, I can cause firmness in one side of the abdomen while still softness on the other side. If I twist, I'll cause firmness on the outside of my abdomen, but the inside feels relaxed enough that I can still breathe in my abdomen. So, how does this confuse people? Well, I'll ask Kim to come and help me. So I'm going to let my abdomen relax. The same way you see people um, like babies, they always walk around with the tummy completely relaxed, unless you pick them up, and then the tummy goes firm. Um, often we see pictures of Maha Gurus, people like, uh, say, Buddha, uh, even Patabi Joyce and BKS Aenga, they sometimes look like they've got a relaxed abdomen. It's relaxed, sometimes the abdomen carries a bit of fat as well. In my case, it can expand and soften, but there's not too much fat there, but it looks sometimes more like a baby. Now, that's not the way I'll stand in a posture when I'm doing yoga or fitness exercise, but I could relax like that. What I'm gonna ask him to do is just gently touch my lower abdomen while it's hanging out. And while it's hanging out like that, you see it's quite a way out. Now, Kim, don't move your hands. What I'm going to do is tighten my abdomen using the muscles of forced exhalation from the abdomen, which include the transversus abdominis and muscles like that. Now, I'm going to draw my abdomen toward the spine, my navel toward the spine, using the muscles of exhalation, and the abdomen appears to go in. The navel appears to go closer to the spine. Now I'll relax my abdomen again. This time I'm going to tighten my abdomen using postural muscles, the same as I would feel if I twisted sideways or, or, or bent forward or bent backward. So I'm going to tighten again using postural muscles. And again, the abdomen appears to go inwards. But what it looks the same on the outside, pretty much, doesn't feel the same on the inside. So what I'm going to ask him to do now is make a finger strong and push the fingers into my soft, relaxed abdomen. And now, with the fingers into the soft, relaxed abdomen, I'm going to tighten my muscles of abdominal exhalation. So exhale fully. And you see my abdomen waist narrows again, but Kim's fingers stay there. In fact, they go deeper into my spine, and she can feel my abdomen's a little bit firm. Now relax again. Abdomen relaxed again. Takes the fingers into a soft abdomen. This time, I'm going to tighten my abdomen using postural muscles. The same muscles that you would use, for example, to do a hum of sit-up. When I do that, the abdomen goes firm, but the abdomen gets pushed outwards, and fingers get pushed outwards. So once again, watch from the outside. This is a fully relaxed belly. Now I tighten my abdomen using my muscles of exhalation. Abdomen appears to go in. Now I tighten my ass muscle, my abdomen using postural muscles. The abdomen appears to go in. But the same two movements, when my fingers, when you've got fingers inside a soft abdomen, first one, tighten muscles of exhalation. Abdomen stays in. But tighten muscles of posture, like half sit-up muscles, the abdomen appears to go out and actually pushes Kim's hands out. That's the same sort of thing. If I were to twist to the left or right side, I'm going to twist, that will automatically push your abdomen out. If I do a forward bend, that automatically pushes the abdomen out. But you see my abdomen is firm in the front, but actually totally soft on the outside. And similarly, if I do a half sit-up, where my spine is actually obliging to work to sit up, I relax, my abdomen soft, again, fingers into a soft abdomen. When I sit up, the 
the abdomen automatically pushes out, but on the sides it's fully soft. If I twist to one side, I'm going to twist, the abdomen pushes out. So this is what it means then. Whereas if I exhale fully and pull my navel toward the spine, then it's almost impossible to sit up without tensing my neck. So sitting up with the abdominal muscles of postural movement, there is firmness in the front, the abdomen pushes out. Softness in the sides, that part doesn't need to tense. But if I come back up for a moment, the lesson is then that although we are told to draw the navel toward the spine to firm your abdomen, how are you doing it? Are you drawing your abdomen toward the spine, your navel toward the spine, using your exhalation muscles, which are great if you're trying to exhale fully, like this, where the abdomen stays in? Or are you using the muscles that twist and bend your spine forward and backward, which are these muscles like this, where the abdomen appears to go out when your fingers are deep inside the abdomen, but when your abdomen is relaxed and you tighten these postural muscles, the abdomen appears to go in. This hopefully explains why many of these instructions are so confused by many people. Thank you.